Hello everybody and welcome to Hexarama. I am playing this, uh, this is uh, the full version of the game for me um, because I was uh, so kindly provided a key um, from Rogue Duck Interactive and um, I, I did play the demo that's available right now on NextFest and um, I, I quite enjoyed it and so I decided to activate the key. I'm going to do my best to talk about the game and play it and do a fairly decent job. I'm going to go through all three modes um, to kind of give you an idea of what everything is. And, um, you know, just just have a chill time. Because the game is, like, incredibly, incredibly chill. It is um, definitely something that I've had, like, a really hard time, like, as I've been trying to make these... Um, As I've been trying to make these videos, uh, it has been, uh, well, it's just been really, really difficult to kind of talk and, and make something that makes sense because it's just really, really chill. Like, it is um, probably one of the most chill experiences I have had. Um... You know, for all the things I've played with uh, during Next Fest, an earthquake is new. Um, oh, straight up lost some places. Anyway, so occasionally we get those um, kind of negative events. They don't really happen too often, to be honest. Um, there are different things you can actually build that will, uh, you know, kind of help you, um, I don't know, mitigate the res results of them, I guess. Might be what I'm looking for. Um, maybe not, but... This is like the, uh, this is like the worst building I have done in a while. Um, yeah, so this failed completely and I completely missed that. I could have gone there to, um, gain some extra points. All right, well, uh, here we go to, um, the high score mode, which is very similar. So the thing is, like, a lot of these are very, very similar as, as far as the modes go. Um, endless mode and high score mode are very, very similar. The biggest difference between... The endless mode and the high score mode is high score mode puts you on an island that doesn't grow. So you really have to be a little bit more cautious of, of what you're building uh, to ensure that you're, um, you know, maximizing your points. And then you have uh, the points that kind of, you have to get a certain amount in order to um, progress on to the next stage. Uh, but you can, um, you know, try to get as many points as possible before moving on to the next stage, which is actually something that is a good idea. Because um, once it says you have a next stage, you might as well just take it, but... It works because you kind of will be able to build up your high score to be a bit stronger than it would be otherwise. Yeah, we lost points, but it's, it's fine. It doesn't matter. We'll just move on to the next thing. Um, I do like so the high score mode that I'm having right here is going to be slightly different than uh, what you what you got for the demo. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to um, legitimately get on the high score uh, like some of you will be able to do. Uh, heck yeah, landmarks. Uh, it does suck that I can basically get zero points out of it, but it kind of works out for the best. Uh, 
I'm just trying to get as many points as possible before moving on. Uh, not that it's going to do me much good. I think this is like the best hand uh, that I've received in any of the high score modes. I mean, getting those lookout tower or the, uh, yeah, the, those lighthouses of sorts, the landmarks. Ah, oh, man, those are like the card to get because it, you know, increases how many locations you have that you can actually. Um, you know, add these things that are going to give you, like, more points. One of the biggest things I've learned is it's not about, um, you know, necessarily placing a lot of this stuff down all at once. In some cases, you, you want to kind of, you kind of want to wait. Uh, like 14 points not enough to to make it through i kind of screwed up i'm like perpetually stuck at rank number 22 uh, the jump from 22 to 21 must be insane all right let's try the um sandbox mode and then it's like a general kind of overview we'll do small i'm gonna do purple Oh, purple sounds cool. Uh, let's do some cloudy, everything and then everything. Let's go. Let's see what happens. I mean, personally, I think uh, the endless mode, the continuous mode, is my favorite mode. It just works really, really nicely. Um... Uh, sandbox mode is something that, um, you know, gives you a good option to kind of, like, just build stuff, which is pretty cool. I will say that, um, that won't be, um, ideally something that I'm, like, hugely into, because it doesn't really have the same, uh, kind of points and stuff. But I think there's, you know, certainly, like, an alert to it, like, some people just want to jump in here and you know build some stuff and just have a generally good time so that's what you can do with the sandbox mode I, I don't think it really makes sense for me to show too much of the sandbox mode uh, the sandbox mode is definitely not going to be my jam we're gonna go back to endless mode we're gonna do one last video uh, part of this video rather uh, where I will do my best to get as far as possible. Hey, maybe this is going to be the time that I actually do better than, um, you know, the, uh, I don't know, the, the, the people that have, like, that better score than me, the number 21s.
I am trying to... I'm trying not to put, like, so many of my things, um... around my landmarks so early because it just... I, I feel like that's going to kind of come back and bite me. Uh... I'm definitely not doing an amazing job with my choices here. Another shrine? How many shrines could you possibly want? Two homesteads. Well, I can't build a home to two homesteads because I don't have anything for that, so. I was not, uh, wasn't what I wanted. I'm not going to be able to build these homesteads to get the things that I want because I just don't have the, uh... I don't have the stuff for it. It's apparently very, very important. To get your stuff, uh, you know, kind of like lined up with um, everything. Well, we failed and... Um, oh, actually, no, no, I didn't. That's f really surprising. Oh man, all my trees are gone. What a very unhappy experience. What is this, like, mixture of, like, the 22, you know, like, wow, how good of a player is number 21? Jeez. All right, one more time. I, and again, like, I realize that this is, like, another experience where I just, I, I have no idea what it is about this game, but I absolutely have been unable to um, <laughs> articulate um, much of anything. Sometimes you just get really unlucky with the... Uh... With your choices. And that's where I 
feel I am this time. I just haven't... I haven't gotten very lucky. Oh, man, I didn't even pay attention to that. I should have... Should have done something different. One town hall and no town halls. Because of course there's no town hall. Why would there be a town hall? The one thing that I need. All right, as I wrap this up, um, I, I'm just going to give this a very solid and firm recommendation. That sounds terrible. Solid and firm recommendation. What am I even saying? Um, look, here's the deal. This is a splendid experience. You know, we have, um, you know, just a really enjoyable experience of kind of building all these pieces together or these town pieces and just kind of hoping for the best. Um, graphically, the game is just super cozy. I think it's probably the best way to explain it. Um, I really enjoy having these kind of little... Um, these little moments that are designed to, you know, I guess encourage you to place certain things, and if you put down the right stuff, you have a very good chance of, um, you know, getting um, a nice amount of points, which uh, is super helpful. Yeah, no, no meteor is going to get us this time. That's too bad the meteor doesn't do anything for freaking earthquakes. Yeah, that being said, like, um... Uh, dang, that's not what I wanted to do. That being said, uh, this is certainly probably the most difficult... Um... Game I've, I've tried to cover recently and uh, you know it's it's not because the game is bad because the game is excellent uh it's simply because it's it puts me in such a state of just relaxation that it is very difficult to really come up with stuff to say like i i'm trying to say things i really am but it just it just feels kind of on the, the difficult side um, because I am just absolutely relaxed um, and I think that's pretty awesome you know like I mean what kind of game do you or how many games can you like think of um, fairly quickly that just remind you of or that make you think about a time where you've just been able to really chill and just you know relax and feel completely at ease for me I, I, I don't think I can really list too many too many games like that um, I just really enjoy the fact that I can sit here and not really even, it's not, you know, I don't want to say it's like shut my brain off. It's just uh, a matter of just being in this really relaxed state. Um, because I'm just enjoying this experience of just slowly building up a town to... Um, you know, do whatever it is that I want to do, and... I 
I like how I keep putting down these rock quarries like they're like an important or integral aspect. But in reality, they are the least of the things that I need. Thank you, Town Hall, for finally showing up. Jeez. Let's see. So, these we get a point, and I mean, being by a town hall is a positive. Okay, I did a bad job there. But I mean, definitely, as you can see, like, it makes a lot of sense to, um,. Play the cards based on their positives and negatives in the best possible way. Uh, the better you do at, you know, I guess lining up your choices, uh, the more likely you're going to, you know, kind of keep on moving forward. come and it's going to actually mess my stuff up this time. Hey, you know, I guess it was only a matter of time. <laughs> I just put that down. You son of a... <sighs> of course. Uh, one town hall. It's actually like a little bit on the hilarious side. Dang, that's, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, so I think like the one of the only problems that I've run into here is with the whole idea that we can move the... Um, because we can move around the map with the left click, uh, but we can also place our items down with that same left mouse button, it can be kind of a little bit too easy to screw up and um, place something down uh, that doesn't belong in the spot that you're putting it. So it, it just gets kind of, it can be a little bit frustrating uh, when you're trying to put some of this stuff down because you end up just putting it in the wrong place. Uh, Dang, I can't make the homestead because I don't have the homestead. And I guess it's uh, going to be the end of this experience once again so i'm gonna stop there because i mean like i've really like i think i've shown a pretty decent amount of like what to expect as you can see it's a game that you can jump right into and once you start playing you can easily lose yourself i mean at this point in time i've played this for about 40 minutes um combined with the demo and you know the full game that i have um uh, i highly recommend it it's probably the most chill experience of next fest and it's just really, really wholesome. I quite enjoy it. Uh, the link is in the description. And a reminder, it comes out the first quarter of 2025 for about five US dollars. Um, the link is in the description. I, again, encourage you to, to give it a shot. And I hope you like it. And I hope you wish listen. And thanks for watching.